In the bench sports, 84. Vasil Lomachenko. I just watched an interview on Fight Hype. An interview conducted on Vasil Lomachenko. He was asked on his opinion on uh, Mikey Garcia's performance against Adrian Brunner. And Lomachenko had a lot to say. He claims Mikey Garcia wasn't that impressive. He was doing the same thing over and over again. And moreover, he was getting tired at points in the fight. And I, I would say I have to agree with it because I also saw all those things he was talking about. Garcia wasn't really mixing. Mikey Garcia wasn't really mixing things up in the mixing things up in his fight he was doing like virtually the same thing over and over again i stated this in my previous video Bruno had his guy his guard way high the guy was just, just didn't want to fight instead of you breaking him down like mixing things up he just kept, kept doing the same thing over again hitting his gloves trying to hit the guy through his gloves Sometimes being successful, other times not being successful. I kept doing that same thing over and over again. On some few occasions, he decided to throw some body punches. But that was all. So that was the same thing I'm sure Lomachenko was also seeing in the fight. Moreover, he was getting, I think he was getting tired at some points in the fight. When he, when, when at points in the fight, when he decides to go back, he lines him to be able to fight on his back foot when Bruno decides to press him he just keeps going back and doesn't throw any meaningful punches so those are the things Lomachenko is also seeing also saw in the fight so Lomachenko doesn't seem too impressed with Mikey Garcia's performance against Bruno so the only thing he should do is to try and make a fight with him because he has claimed in the past that he would like to fight Mikey Garcia. So now that he's realized that he's not that good enough and and he's, he's not, uh, how do you call it? He's not of the standard you are expecting. It should be easy to take this fight and prove that, uh, make your point and make a statement back up your 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 assertions about him that is that should be the point of call but i think along the line the interview him as when he was claiming it doesn't look like it's going to be possible and all that i don't want to be hearing those things you don't downgrade a man and then see try get out of a fight with him it doesn't work like that <laughs> it doesn't work like that so wherever it takes, once you make these assertions, whatever it takes to get into the ring with him, you should be able to do it. There shouldn't be any reason why you don't get to fight with this guy. You need to get in the ring and, and make your point. And prove yourself. Prove your points, the points you've made about him. You have to prove it in the ring. That is what I think he needs to do. There shouldn't be any reason why this fight cannot happen. And as for my thoughts on this fight, if he, if it should happen, I really, I'm, I should, regardless of how Mike Garcia was performing, I think he still has the upper hand against Lomachenko because he still has his timing. His timing can be can make a difference, and his shots. He has a strong. He's a sort of fighter that has a knockout punch in his in his shots. So he might even, he might end up even knocking out. There's a strong possibility he might end up knocking out Lomachenko. But I'll still give the slight edge to my guess here. If they ever, if they were ever, if they ever get into the ring together, those are my thoughts. If you like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your time. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.